G'day, Petty from PPA, and welcome to this week's show, The Problem Investment Guys, the only place to be for real facts, real figures, and real flaming hotspots. Look, today guys, we're gonna talk about uh, custom builds for NDIS and traditional builds Australia-wide. But first, I just wanna drill down on what's happening right now. I'm sure you've probably seen in the media, we've never seen so much uh, hype out there about the capital growth around the country. Almost every city and even regional centres are going up in value, uh, driven, driven by these extremely low interest rates you know, and high demand for new homes. And this $25,000 building boost that has generated so much interest in new uh, new land for new builds Australia-wide, that is pushing up land prices and creating a real shortage of land, which is part of the reason why we're making this video today, if you have to so understand that. We're seeing vacancy rates go down very low. There's such high demand for rental, rental accommodation. So if you're looking to invest in, uh, in traditional builds for that high capital growth and, and good cash flow, or, or NDIS for extreme high cash flow and uh, capital growth, and there are probably no better time than now for doing so. There's no doubt here at PPA, we spend so much time on the ground and doing our research, trying to identify the best cities in the country for capital growth, and also not just the best cities, where's those micro locations, because that's very important, whether it's for traditional investment for strong capital growth and rental demand, or it's for those participant demand with our SGA's uh, um, support, choosing those locations where they have the demand for their participants and they request us to actually build properties for them in whatever country, or whatever country, sorry, whatever city in the country. Uh, so look, it's very important that you do get it right. Don't just jump in and invest and look for okay returns. You wanna make sure you get your research, get the on the ground uh, research, you, you know, take advantage of our, of our matrix system that's been proven again and again and again for the past 12 years to get it right when it comes to picking that key location for investment, whatever investment it is for you, whether it is a traditional build or NDIS. So, so today's video again is about is about that custom builds for NDIS. So why are we talking about this? I mentioned this a moment ago, there's a massive shortfall of land uh, due to the fact that so many people are jumping on to get to get this $25,000 building boost. Uh, and that's, that has, that's caused land prices to go up and made it really tough to get land. So that's one reason we, we're discussing this today. The other reason is we have a lot of demand from people uh, contacting us wanting to do custom builds for NDIS and, and looking for those locations within that sort of you know, 15 to 20 kilometres zone away from the CBD, within that CBD range. So, if that's you, then this could be a very interesting uh, video for you. So, so it's very important that you know, we locate that, that correct land in the best locations, but, in, but also importantly, that we, uh, you know, we have a proven process on how we would do that, whether it's knock down, rebuild, or vacant blocks. And, it's, and again, and also very importantly is, if it is for traditional build, is the key location for growth, and if it's for NDIS, has the SDAs actually requested their demand for their participants in that location? Because again, NDIS is a fantastic investment, but only if you do have participants to move into the home and a very good, caring, passionate um, SDAs uh, manager to look after the property for you and source those participants. So, so you can understand how we do this, and from a builder's perspective, Tony's over 26 years in the building space, uh, and he's passionate for helping people in, in investment and in DIS and to build quality builds. Tony's gonna to come on now and talk to you about how to you know, uh, get that right custom build for your personal needs. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Peter. Hi, everyone. Yes, it's really important if you are selecting land, there's a number of things you should be looking at, especially in the NDIS space. To meet the NDIS standard, obviously, we have uh, very tight and strict criteria around what blocks we build on. Um, so if you are going to look for blocks to build an NDIS house on and then come to a company like us to see if we can put that build together for you, um, you need to be first looking at the size of the block and the level of the block. It needs to be quite flat. We don't want, we generally look for blocks without, with less than a half a metre fall from front to back. We generally don't build on any blocks that are an odd shape. They need to be a rectangle or a square shape for the designs to fit because they're bigger designs than a residential, standard residential home. Um, so they need a minimum of, if you're doing a traditional, say four bedroom home as an NDIS, uh, then they need to be somewhere around the 14 metre frontage by 30 metres in length, linear metres this is. Um, that gives you around 420 square metres minimum. 
Uh, we would ideally like something bigger, but that's the minimum, just so you know. Um, we also do uh, build dual lockies and duplexes and, and sometimes villa homes, as Peter touched on, um, where we build three or four in a row if the block's big enough. But we need at least 650 square metres to look at that because of our boundary offsets. And that brings me to another point. Don't forget about your easements and access to that block. Has it got good access up one side if you put a house on it? Um, is, is there any easements? That is for services that are wide easements we can't build over, for water, sewage, electricity, or whatever it may be on that block. If you can find that out, that's really important. Um, once we establish a block that we know we, that looks like we can build on it, then we go to our feasibility studies and look at the, the actual facts and returns and what it's likely to achieve. But then we would go to a town's planner, guys. You need to, you know, in, in traditional, in, in residential areas, in suburban areas, we need to engage a town planner to actually look at that block and work out if it's gonna, if it's gonna get approval, if it's gonna get BA or DA, depending on where you live. Um, we need to do that first and foremost before we start spending money. Then we would do site the block. We would get estimators and drafting teams involved to draw up uh, concept plans and, and go from there once uh, you're happy to actually getting approved plans. So there's a lot involved in it, and I won't go into more detail than that at this point in time. But there's a lot involved in it, but if you just focus on a nice square rectangle, flat block, good access, no wide easements, that's a really good start. Um, and the biggest thing I would say is to focus on where participants are. It's very hard for you to know that without having a very good SDA. And a lot of SDAs are not from social, social services disability background, so they don't necessarily have the connections they need uh, for those pathways to participants that we have with our SDAs. And um, it's really important to understand that because they are the reason you get those high returns, guys. So if you're not building or looking for the land in the right location, then you're likely not to get those returns. So it's crucial you understand that, okay? Um, we all know that the, the market is moving, it's hot everywhere in Australia. Um, most economists are saying it's the hottest market they've seen in over 20 years now. Um, so it, it, everywhere is doing well in regional and major cities. I mean, Sydney and Melbourne are probably lagging a bit, but they've had their extremely high growth period. But why I mention this is it's really important you do your research and buy and build selectively in the right locations with the right population growth, the right jobs, the right infrastructure, the right drivers, we call it, that are driving the market up, okay? It's not just buy something and hope for the best because the markets are hot in most areas of the country. Vacancy rates are tight. We need to be selectively looking at where we're maximising everything we do, okay? Uh, we build a multitude of properties from uh, triplexes, duplexes, villas, where we do villas in a row, we do, you know, single, fully um, detached houses in three and four bedroom. We do duplexes, dual hockeys, two and three, one and two. Depends what's right for you. Multi-lease, we do all sorts of scenarios and designs and builds. It's about what's right for you. So I'd urge you to, uh, yeah, by all means, we can't find land easily out there, develop land especially, and tightling times are getting pushed back so uh, far, further and further now because of um, there's a shortage and there's, there's too much in demand and not enough supply. Uh, so by all means, go and try and find land that's suitable for whatever you're trying to do, and then come to see a company like us and ask us whether that'll work for you, uh, but selectively, guys. Think about it, do some research. Um, uh, and, and then we can go from there and work out what's best for you if you come and see us. But look, do yourself a favour, click the button below, get in touch with PPA, have a complimentary strategy session and work through what's best for you with whatever you're trying to achieve, whether it's writing off tax, whether it's maximising your capital growth, whether it's increasing your cash flow, whatever it is, or a, or a combination of all three, get in touch with us, we can help you and we can go from there, guys. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye for now, Tony from PPA, keeping it real.